So good morning, students. So today I'm going to teach you chapter seven, strong sudhir. Let's see the vowel sound. Vowel sound u, c u t e, cute, f l u t e, flute, c u r e, cure, s u r e, sure. Now let's start our chapter. Sudhir was the son of a woodcutter. He lived in a village. So this one is the story about Sudhir. Sudhir was the son of a woodcutter. Woodcutter means the person who cut wood, and they live in a village. He was a very strong boy, but he spent most of his time playing on his flute. Sometimes he played with his pet, a cute little pup. So Sudhir, he was a very strong boy, but he spent most of his time playing on his flute. And sometimes by playing with his pet, and his pet was a cute little pup. Young Sudhir did not like to do any work, so the village people did not speak well of him. What a lazy boy! They said, he plays all the day and does no work at all. As Sudhir was a very strong boy, but he did not like to do any work. So that's why the village people they did not speak uh, well things about him. They used to say that what a lazy boy, lazy, l a z y. Lazy means uh, unwilling to do any works. So what a lazy boy uh, Sudhir was. And they also said that he play all the day and does no work at all. Sudhir's mother was unhappy because people said rude things about her. Uh, sorry, people said such rude things about her son. He she knew he was good, but she could not cure him of his laziness. So, as the village people, they are saying very rude things. Rude. R U D E. Rude means not polite, not good things about uh, her son. So Sudhir's mother, he was, uh, she was very unhappy, but she knew that uh, Sudhir was a very good boy, but she could not cure him of his laziness. But uh, Sudhir was very lazy. One June morning, it began to rain. His father told Sudhir, "I'm sure the rain will stop soon." Why don't you come with me to the wood? So, one June morning, uh, it was raining. So his father, Sudhir's father, he told Sudhir to, "I'm sure the rain will stop. Why don't you come with me to the wood?" Shall we go in our cart? Asked the lazy boy. No, said the father. You don't need a cart when the woods are so near. Let us go walking. As Sudhir. He was very lazy boy, so he asked his father that, "Shall we go with our cart?" Then the father replied, "No, we don't need a cart because the woods are so near. So let's go walking." So Sudhir took up his puppy in his arms and went with his father to the wood. So Sudhir he took up his puppy, his li uh, cute little pup, in his arm and they went uh, to the wood. He spent the morning going round the wood. He saw some men tying ropes to the tree. He saw others chopping wood. But Sudhir did not do any work. He began to play with his pup. So Sudhir, as they reached the wood, he spent the morning going round the wood by seeing the wood. And he saw some uh, people, some men, they are tying the ropes to the tree. And he also saw some. People they are chopping, chopping c h o p p i n g. Chopping means to cut into pieces. So the, some people they are cutting the wood into pieces. But Sudhir, he did not do any work. He began to play with his pup. Near him, a woodcutter was cutting a small tree. As the tree began to fall, Sudhir's puppy ran in. The woodcutter tried to save the little dog, but he slipped on the ground. Hey, look out! The tree! The tree! The other woodcutter cried out. 
So near him, uh, where the Sudhir was sitting near him, uh, one woodcutter was cutting a small tree. As the tree was begun to fall, Sudhir's puppy, Sudhir's little, uh, cute little pup, went in. So the woodcutter, uh, he tried to save the little dog, but he slipped on the ground. Slipped, S-L-I-P-P-E-D, slipped. Slipped means fell down. So the woodcutter, he fell down on the ground. Then other woodcutter, they cried out, Hey, hey look out the tree, the tree. Sudhir rushed to the spot. He held the tree on his strong broad soldiers and soldiers and stopped it from falling on the man. His father and the other men helped him to lift the tree. So Sudhir, when he heard the other woodcutter, they cried that the tree, the tree, the so, so the Sudhir rushed to that spot and he held that tree on his strong broad shoulder. And stop it from falling on the man. Then after that, the, his father and other people, they also came and they helped him to lift the tree. A strong Sudhir saved the woodcutter's life. So the people of the village began to talk well of him. What a brave boy, what a brave boy, they said again and again when they saw him. As the village people changed towards him, Sudhir's life also began to change. He spent less time now on his flute and on his little pub. He began to work hard and made his mother happy. So as a strong Sudhir, he saved the woodcutter's life. So the village people, they started to talk good things about him. And whenever they saw him, they said, What a brave boy, what a brave boy you are. As the village people changed towards him, so Sudhir's lives also began to change. He started spending less time on his flute and on his little pub. He started to work hard and made his mother happy. So students, what we learn from this uh, story? We learn that lazy people never get appreciation. So always do good things, then only the people will appreciate you.